Hey everyone, welcome back to the Adas Platform channel. In this video, we'll dive into imbalance zones. These zones will help you identify significant areas during trend development and provide additional price reversal points. Imbalance levels are the opposite of market balances. During balanced phases, positions tend to form and prices usually remain within a range between buyers and sellers. At an imbalance level, however, the price exhibits contrasting behavior, moving impulsively and rapidly. Imbalances often coincide with trending movements, reflecting a shortage of either buyers or sellers. Another factor contributing to acceleration could be the triggering of stop losses. These stop orders transform into market orders which naturally drive the price rather than stop it. In a nutshell, during an imbalance and upward price movement, there is a surge in market buyers and a shortage of limit sellers who could potentially slow down the movement. Similarly, during a downward price imbalance, there's a lack of limit buyers. In theory, a market maker could potentially serve as a price-stopping mechanism, but it's clear that even a market maker can't absorb the entire volume indefinitely. Consequently, during an imbalance phase, a critical mass of open positions builds up among buyers and sellers, and eventually, some of them prove to be weaker, unable to maintain the price. It's logical that such a trapped group of traders will implement loss-limiting measures and place stop-loss orders. As for careless and inexperienced traders, their positions might be liquidated. Whenever the price enters an imbalance, it leads to losses for some traders and profits for others. You may wonder why the price tests imbalance zones so often. Personally, I have two explanations that don't contradict each other, but rather complement each other. The first reason is the opportunity for a market maker to exit their trapped positions with minimal losses. In other words, their average price of the stuck position is approximately in the imbalance zone, between two balances. The second reason is the trend weakening after an impulsive movement that happens during most imbalances. When the price goes up, buyers close their position using take-profit orders. At some point, the buying pressure fades away and the price stops rising. The buyers let the price go and the sellers emerge, which leads to a downward movement. This is what we see as a correction. Since trading on the exchange is impersonal, it's difficult to obtain unequivocal evidence for these two theories, but they seem very logical. If you have any other theories on this matter, feel free to share them in the comments. You can see in the example that the movement continues until price imbalances appear in the opposite direction. We can use these zones as support or resistance when trading in a trend. When the market is balanced, imbalanced zones don't appear. But the moment you see new imbalance areas, you get a signal about a trend movement. In other words, the imbalance indicator can be used as a signal about the beginning of a trend. Hit the like button, subscribe and download the platform for free. See you in the next video.